Welcome back to the IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel for another session. Today, we'll discuss how PLC, PAC, and IPC, three main industrial control system types utilized in automation and manufacturing processes, differ from one another. Each has unique qualities and uses. We will discuss what these components are as well as how they differ. Before we begin today's video, if you are new to our channel, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you won't miss any upcoming PLC, DCS, SCADA, or IIoT related information. PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, is where we'll start. PLCs, which are specialized digital computers made for controlling manufacturing processes, machinery, and other industrial automation applications, continue to be the fundamental building block for many smaller automation projects. PLC is highly reliable and are designed to work in harsh industrial environments, including extreme temperatures, humidity, and vibration. PLCs use ladder logic or other programming languages to control processes and execute tasks based on input and logic conditions. PLCs are well suited for discrete control applications, such as on-off control, sequencing, and logic-based decision-making. PLCs are typically used for applications, motor control, and manufacturing automation. PLCs are also commonly used to control conveyor belts in manufacturing facilities. They can start and stop the conveyor, control its speed, and manage the flow of products along the production line. PLCs can be used to control the filling process in a bottling plant. They monitor the level of liquid in bottles, trigger the filling operation, and stop when the desired level is reached. PLCs can also be found in traffic signal control systems. They manage the sequencing of traffic lights to control the flow of vehicles and pedestrians at intersections. Example of PLCs Siemens S7300 and S7200. Now let's talk about PAC, Programmable Automation Controller. PACs are a more advanced type of industrial controller that combines the features of PLCs and industrial PCs, IPCs. They are typically equipped with more processing power, memory, and communication capabilities than traditional PLCs. PACs often support multiple programming languages, including ladder logic, structured text, and seat making them more versatile for complex control tasks. They are designed for both discrete and process control applications, making them suitable for a wider range of industries and applications. PACs can be used in applications that require precise control, data logging, and more advanced algorithms. PACs are used in water treatment facilities to monitor and control complex processes, such as chemical dosing, filtration, and disinfection. They provide real-time data processing and control. In advanced manufacturing, PACs can coordinate the activities of multiple machines in a cell, ensuring synchronization and communication between robots, CNC machines, and other equipment. PACs are used in building automation and energy management systems to optimize heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC systems, lighting, and energy consumption. For example, we have Rockwell Automation Control Logics PAC. Last but not least, IPC, Industrial PC, a rugged computing device called an Industrial Personal Computer, IPC, is utilized for operations including arithmetic, industrial applications, or acting as a control system. It makes sure that different processes, whether discrete, continuous, or hybrid, operate securely, within predetermined bounds, quickly enough, and with the appropriate quality. They are more versatile and flexible than PLCs and PACs, but may not be as rugged for harsh industrial environments without proper protection. IPCs can run various operating systems, Windows, Linux, and software applications, making them suitable for tasks like data acquisition, HMI, human-machine interface, development, and running complex control algorithms. They are often used in applications where extensive data processing, visualization, and connectivity to enterprise systems are required. IPCs can be a good choice for applications like SCADA, supervisory control and data acquisition, 
systems, advanced robotics, and sophisticated process control. IPCs are commonly used in SCADA systems, which monitor and control large-scale industrial processes. They provide a graphical interface for operators to visualize and interact with the entire system. IPCs with powerful processors and advanced programming capabilities are used to control robotic arms in industries like automotive manufacturing. They can handle complex motion planning and vision systems, data logging and analysis. IPCs are suitable for applications that require extensive data logging and analysis, such as in research laboratories or quality control in pharmaceutical production, CNC machining control. In precision machining, IPCs can be used to control computer numerical control, CNC machines. They run software to control tool paths, speeds, and feeds for precision manufacturing. Siemens Somatic IPC is one of example of IPC. In summary, the choice between PLCs, PACs, and IPCs depends on the specific requirements of the automation or control application. PLCs are typically used for simple discrete control tasks. PACs offer greater versatility and processing power. While IPCs provide the highest level of flexibility and computational capabilities, but may require additional environmental protection measures in rugged industrial settings. We that we will conclude today's video. Show your support by likes and subscribe if you don't want to miss our future content related to automation. Until next time, take care and goodbye.